I have been uh, taking a short break from planting. I ran out of sunflower seeds, and um, that kind of uh, takes me to the end of January. Uh, basically, what I have going now um, will keep me in harvest till the end of January, and in February, uh, I plan to make a few changes. What I learned in January, um, I learned how to coordinate my harvests uh, so that I can harvest three different uh, varieties, sunflowers, radish, and um, red cabbage on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And uh, that just allowed me to make a mix and package that mix and put it in the fridge. And um, then I would have fresh greens every day and uh, would replenish that twice a week. Um, I thought about going to a uh, once a week harvest and um, I had it all worked out but then I realized you know that the shelf life on these it probably is a week but I, I prefer uh, fresher the better so I decided to go with freshness uh, instead of um, trying to do that once a week harvest. Um, I set up a drying tray, a salad spinner, a wash bubbler, and I use that, I only use that on suns. I don't use that on the more delicate uh, greens, but um, got that set up. Um, I, my focus has been on greens for one person, and it's not because I uh, only want to do one person, but um, basically I'm trying to learn what the minimum uh, shelf size and lighting size is that will work to provide one person uh, greens and um, <clears throat> I think I've accomplished that with my nine lighted tray space system um, I can probably grow more than uh, one person needs I've thought about expanding into growing for friends or commercial sales uh, but I have such a small area here, it's a small place to work with, and uh, um, I'm kind of looking at it as um, being too much uh, in my home. I mean, I, I'm well aware of uh, food service uh, requirements. I used to own a bakery, um, and I don't have those food service requirements here in my basement, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Although. Um, regarding commercial sales, I, I bought some 5x5 five five trays uh, so I could sell greens that are growing in soil uh, at a farmer's market, which start, which in my area starts in April. And I also have some clamshells, and uh, really all I needed to do now is uh, make some labels and put together a fresh sheet, and I could be started as a commercial microgreen farmer. But I'm not sure I want to pull the trigger on that yet, but we'll see. Um, the other thing I've done is I did a lot of research on the nutritional benefits of microgreens, and uh, I wanted to find out what is the best microgreen mix that offers the most uh, nutrition out there. And um, I, I probably will put a few links in the description, look for those. Um, and I also have another video, if you look for microgreen nutrition video, um, here's what I came up with and what I'm going to try in February, and I still have to work this out, but I'm gonna do a tray of sunflowers, uh, one or two trays of broccoli, tray of red cabbage, kale, and daikon radish, and then put those all together. Um, I expect to have a harvest, a total mix weight of about uh, 1,200 grams, roughly 1,200 grams, and I think that's going to make about eight servings. I used to do serving sizes of 190. That's just too much for me to eat. Um, at least in one sitting, maybe I could have half of it for breakfast and half in the, for lunch or something, but I think I'm going to reduce my serving size, and that would give me, uh, at 150 grams, that harvest would give me eight servings of a mix. So I am going to have to find um, ways to get rid of my extra production because that's eight servings on Tuesday and eight servings on Friday, and um, I don't know if I can eat that much um, 
but I do have friends that are really interested in what I'm doing. People really are interested in microgreens. It's kind of uh, surprising, actually. So my nine tray system is certainly capable of uh, doing this. Um, doing that many uh, uh, brassicas might push it to the limit, but um, honestly, most of the time I've just been running with uh, two shelves, so six lighted tray spaces. And um, I think I have uh, 14 solid trays and 20 perforated trays. But I just got some more solid trays. Um, the other thing I want to do in February is dial in my procedures. Uh, um, one thing that I want to learn is how can I um, get sunflowers to drop their hulls. Uh, you know, I spend probably 15 minutes picking hulls on every harvest day, and the whole time I'm thinking about uh, how can I make these plants drop their hulls. And you know, the answer is going to be well, they all have to mature at the same time, so they all have to germinate at the same time. So I'm going to be looking at ways to make them germinate, and probably that means 24 hours of soaking or something like that. But um, it might also have to do with the way airflow heating. Um, but I'm going to work on that. The other is uh, I'm trying to do low maintenance for brassicas and radish. And uh, I water them to germinate them. After I unstack them, then I water them one time and uh, just let them go. And, and that seems to be working, and I'm going to be working on that. Um, I do have some, I did get some new seeds, so I do have my sunflowers, but I got broccoli. And uh, I have been trying to grow broccoli, but I had some old sprouting seed that uh, I have not had very good uh, germination. So I hope that it's old seed and just not me making a mistake in getting it germinated. But I may be asking for help with how to germinate bro bro broccoli. And um, you know, daikon radish I had, red rock cabbage I had, but I'm also adding kale. I've heard that kale is fast growing and easy, easy, so I'm not uh, too concerned about that. Um, right now I'm hoping that all my brassicas are on a 10 day cycle, but if they're not, I can just, um, I'll put them on the same cycle as the suns, or, or if uh, kale tends to be faster, I'll put it on the same cycle as radish so um, that's what I'm trying to learn in February and uh, oh the one other thing I want to say I've been eating um, my harvest on a daily basis for about two weeks now um, I would say very positive uh, I enjoy it I've just been eating it out of the uh, container like popcorn almost um, uh, and uh, the mix of sunflowers, uh, red cabbage, and radish, daikon radish, or uh, red triton radish. Great, it's great raw. Um, I don't need any dressing. I don't need to uh, mix it in with anything. I don't eat it as, uh, uh, um, you know, something on top of garnish. Uh, I eat it uh, just as raw greens and uh, pull it right out of the container and it's been great. Okay, that's it for that's my wrap up for January. Thank you for watching.